Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, we are here. You can see all these buffs that I have. Today, we are checking out this weapon. Can't even read the name of it. I think it's called like Divine something. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's see, Divine Finality. And as you can see, I would read about what the weapon says, but I don't know, I can't really see it. Let me see if I like shrink the UI. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of reading. So it has infinite damage, that's what you like to see. High critical strike chance, uses a lot of mana, insane knockback, average speed. And uh, look at that, you can read all this here. It says right click summons a soul that destroys everything. Right click while pressing up summons a copy of the blade to fight for you. Left click while pressing up to throw a barrage of swords. I bestow upon you the pinnacle of all weapons and alike and such it can kill anything. And then there's a lot of other stuff you can read. So what is it? It's right click pressing up, right click without pressing anything, and then left click while pressing up. Okay, let's see it. Right click. Just normal right click. <laughs> This is a, a theatrical sword to say the least. So this is the regular right click, right click. Oh my god. And then right click pressing up. I'm pressing up. Whoa, look at this. So are these summons that just stay with me now? That's pretty amazing. I don't know how to get rid of them, but that's cool. And then we have, what is it? Left click while pressing up. Whoa, this is going to be a laggy episode for sure. And then what's the regular left click? Okay, not bad. All right, let's get to the episode then. This is going to be amazing. Pretty short, I, I would assume. There's no way this episode will be too long. I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, start with the King Slime and it's already dead. One more time, just for fun. Okay, I think that uh, we should activate Eternity Mode. I feel like that only makes sense. All right, so Eternity Mode is on. Let's go ahead. Let's summon the King Slime again. Took a little bit longer, but still a pretty fast kill. Like, I don't even need to, like, swing the sword at all, I feel like. Like, all the summons will do it themselves. Hold up. If I hold shift down. Oh, it gets rid of them because I'm not actually holding the sword. Okay. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. No, not that one. It's hold up and right click, right? I thought it was hold up and right click to summon. That, that's what it said. Right click while pressing up. Pressing up. I'm right clicking. I'm not seeing my summons. I don't know what happened. All right. All right, Cthulhu. Dead. Skeletron. Dead. Queen Bee. Dead. Queen Bee looks a little different. A lot different now. Instead of it just being a reskin, it legit looks like a hornet. That's very, very cool. Wall of Flesh also looks a lot cooler, too. Brain of Cthulhu. Dead. Let's go ahead. Let's see the Eater of Worlds, of course. Boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was so fast. All right, we might as well check out Lepus and Turkor. I kind of wish that uh, the mod would add in like Lepus and Turkor Eternity Mode support. Akram too, that'd be cool. Wink, wink, Fargo's mod, Consularia, you know, maybe hit each other up. Lepus though, obviously these two are not going to stand a chance whatsoever. Let us see the Dungeon Guardian, which I, what's going on? The Dungeon Guardian shouldn't stand a chance, yup. I actually been told recently that the World Shaper Soul is like one main reason why the game like freezes when you pick up items. So shout out to the person who told me that. Taking it off, I shouldn't freeze anymore. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, take on the Dark Mage. And we pretty much are moving in to the next phase already. We're already about to go into hard mode. All right, let's see it. Wall of Flesh. Boom. Jesus. <laughs> That, I feel like there was some extra power behind that kill. Couldn't even see what the wall flesh looked like with this weapon on. I'm gonna take it off just to see. Oh, look at that. It's like a it's like a hollowed like crystal version. It's really cool. Alright, taking the sword back out. I feel like I don't need to make it nighttime to fight the uh mech bosses here. Let's just see. Okay? Okay. There we go. <laughs> what about this one? Oh my god. So maybe the red nasal and spasmatism, I do need to make it nighttime for them. They kind of just run off really fast. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. And spasmatism. Beautiful. This is amazing. All right. The golem and plantera. Yep. There you go. Take out sans golem. And let's go ahead and take out the uh, mushroom themed plantera. Hopefully you guys you can hear me this episode. I know it's a little loud. Here, maybe I'll turn uh, the sound down a little bit. I don't know if that'll help at all. We'll see. You know, some weapons, they just defy the laws of sound. And they aren't even, like, related to any of the sound knobs or volumes, sliders. And they're just loud as hell, no matter what you do. Duke Fish Ron. Get him out of here. Gone. Wait. Still here? Gone. No. Wait. Still here? 
gone for real this time so again i don't really need to use like any other attacks like we literally insta kill everything with just like the summons around me so i don't know how often i'll use the other attacks maybe once we get on get to like bosses with higher health then maybe i'll throw out some of the other attacks but like even if i were to swing with some of these attacks like i don't even have enough time like look at this like there you go barely able to get a swing off right there before it's already dead so yeah we'll, we'll just use the summons for most of it i'm assuming once we get to like calamity bosses and stuff then maybe i could actually get some swings in and stuff but for now you know this is fine for me this is nice and easy for me i know some people are like we've never had a super insane summon weapon yet i guess you can kind of consider this a super insane summon weapon in this series because it is kind of true i don't think we've had like any legit summon weapons but kind of this is a summon weapon like literally all look at all these summons around me they're the ones doing all the work I, i'm just chilling here doing my thing you know typing in bosses it's uh, nice and easy for me all right last but not least should be akram and then we go ahead and take on the boys let's hope the boys are over here let's see oh they are over here okay the boys i actually probably could have swung on you know what here i'll swing on this guy wait is he dead already what i'm so confused <laughs> i'm so confused that's probably the fastest run we've had yet yeah we killed him at some point what the hell <laughs> all right moon lord <laughs> see you later did not have to click a single thing you know we've seen a lot of strong weapons in this series some that like impress me more than others but like this this is pretty impressive all right let's take on some thorium bosses here uh we will be fighting some of the eternity bosses why not yeah thorium where the hell is it ragnarok here you go summon in all three of these guys this should lead to the boss after it too okay 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 is that is that we get it Oh my god <laughs> so that's one thing i've always noticed about the uh thorium boss that boss is that you can attack it after it's dead and it makes noises a little bit annoying when you have summons that make really loud noises too so uh you know hopefully they fix that in the future i don't know uh, other than that abyssion that that was a pretty quick kill of abyssion i'm not gonna lie i don't know we could summon in like some other stuff i'm assuming it'll all die fast too like it literally doesn't matter what it is it just dies at this point all right now i want to take on the idol on worm right now let's do it i'm really interested about this boom <gasps> what the hell is it immune <laughs> no it's taking damage and it's dead just like that. <laughs> the first boss i actually get to get some swings in and it dies just like that it's crazy what about right click i love the right click the right click is amazing all right eternity mode bosses let's hope i know where to fight all of them because i know a lot of them are very ticky tacky about where you take them on let's start with this one champion of timber okay i'm assuming the forest was the right choice there uh we got champion of will desert maybe no that's this one champion of spirit that has to be desert so let's go to the desert spawn in the champion of spirit and there we go it took a little second you know i had to do a little animation what's going on let go of me is there a phase two what's going on oh it's gone <laughs> all right next up champion of shadow i feel like that's like a corruption slash crimson boss no okay it's fine <laughs> uh champion of earth i'm feeling that that feels like a maybe a hell fight look at it looks hellish i don't even know where it was but it's dead now champion of will maybe champion of will is water because it looks like duke fish run okay maybe i'm in the right spot or maybe it doesn't matter i feel like for some of them i don't think it matters because we have summoned some of them just randomly and it worked before but this one is kind of like duke fish run exactly the way how we had to wait for like each phase we got the champion of terra okay and then the champion of nature champion of nature this is where i would assume to go boom god is ass oh my god what is happening what are you guys even fighting down here champion of terra dead just like that literally insta kill all right so we got like a majority of them we got this one champion of life oh look at the little animation champion of life more like champion of death 
See you later. And who else? We, uh, we got the Champion of Shadows. Do I have to make it nighttime? Maybe that's what I have to do. Boom. It's nighttime. You like nighttime? Oh, I think he likes nighttime. I think he's a nighttime fan. Seems like he's kind of got like these Duke Fishron phases too. Maybe I should swing too. Oh, it's dead. I feel like as soon as I start swinging, everything dies. Like even if it's like invincible, it dies, which is a pretty good sign, I guess. Uh, obviously, we've got all these other champions and stuff too. No, we got Arid Ari Ari Anus. Let's fight him one more time and I'm gonna swing. He's dead. He doesn't even get to spawn in. No, Mutant, dead. Doesn't even get to do anything. Abomination, dead. Doesn't even get to do anything. Deviant that doesn't even get to do a damn thing like who else do you guys want to say bill cypher oh we got uh, of course we gotta use the rift you got any knuckles oh yeah of course we gotta we gotta summon them properly okay don't worry about those ones let's go to the calamity ones then uh starting with dog obviously boom probably gonna die really fast uh, that was actually a little bit slow compared to some other bosses maybe when second phase appears i start swinging dead all right let's go ahead let's fight Yarn, let's see how he fares against this weapon. Probably not going to be much of the fight. Usually the weaker of these three that I fight. Dead. <laughs> I love how I can just delete them whenever I, whatever I want to, man. And then, of course, we have Supreme Cal. I might as well swing on her while she's down here. I might as well. Got her. Look at that. She doesn't even get mad either. All right. Bill Cypher, you got the knuckles. Let's get to it. Where's he at? Right there? Go ahead. Show that health bar. Get him out of here. You got in the knuckles? Go ahead. It's dead already. Okay. There you go. He's actually alive. Dead. Still got to be careful, you know. If I'm, if I'm a little slow on the draw or if my summons take too long to kill him, there is potential that I could die. You know what? Here's a boss we usually don't check out. Providence. <laughs> There's probably a reason why we don't. Like, I legit don't think anything can stand up to this weapon. Not even, like, blue magic bosses. Now, the mod itself does have bosses, as you can see. Look how laggy it is when I put my mouse over this one. Uh don't know if i'll even touch these ones I, I guess we can but you know yeah let's go ahead let's let's see them let's see them okay i don't know if i want to touch any of the other ones <laughs> yeah fuck it you know we might as well i already checked out one we might as well <laughs> hey look it's everyone's favorite meme all right but you know what time it is it is that time act death baby how you doing act death now nah, i'm not gonna swing it looks like not swinging is not helping, so I am going to swing. <laughs> Let's do it again. I want to do the right click. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't think that stands a chance. I have to swing, though. So that is a plus. I literally have to swing. Or Act Death will probably eat us. Because I don't think the summons are going to do enough damage to kill it. But there you go. Another super strong weapon added to the Hall of Fame, of course. This weapon was impressive. I've seen a lot of impressive stuff. So for something to impress me even more, that's insane. You know it's a great weapon. But yeah, shout out the Vades OP sword mod. Hopefully that's how you say that. Vades, 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 whatever. I know they got a lot more OP weapons on there. We'll see if we check them out. This one is, I'm pretty sure, like top tier out of all of them and probably the coolest. So make sure to check out the mod. Again, make sure to leave more OP weapon suggestions. New world coming soon. I know I keep saying it, but like, you know, we'll see what happens. It kind of takes a lot of work to like set up a whole entire world for future episodes. We'll see what happens, especially since like, you know, Team Modeler 144 has a couple more mods on it, a couple more decent mods. I do want to do a Team Modeler 1.4 episode. Maybe, maybe I finally do a Zenith episode. <laughs> I meant to do a Zenith episode a long time ago when 1.4 originally came out, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll hop on 1.4 to model loader just to do that finally. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I'll see y'all next time.